Hello, my name is Paddy Horn and I'll be your lecturer for web development this term. Um, what we're going to do online is we're going to deliver a number of bite-sized tutorials. What I'm going to try to do is keep these tutorial sizes as short as possible so that we can consume them in the one sitting. And also, if you need to, you can you know, review them as many times as you want to. So what I'm going to do is, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to introduce the actual module. I'm going to talk about the layout and the structure of it. I'm going to talk about where we might access resources. And in the next um, tutorial after this, I'll talk about the assignments. So it'll give you a good foundation of what's required for the rest of the actual um, module itself. So I'm going to jump over to PowerPoint here now. So that little introduction just gave us a little taster of what we might be doing in this particular module. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to introduce what the aim of the module is so we get the idea of that. As you can see, um, my email address is on the screen here. It's patrick.horn at tudublin.ie. Um, so the module aim. So what, what are we trying to get from this module? What are we trying to present to you with? Or what are you going to hopefully have at the end of this module? Well, very simply, we want to enable all participants to analyze, plan, develop, and manage an effective tourism-based website. Now, what does that mean? That means it's everything from setting out the aims of a website right through to figuring out who your audience are, um, how to set it up, what's required, um, how much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take? All of these things from planning and analyzing right through to developing the website itself and, and managing it and making sure that you can measure what's going on. So you're going to see a lot of these terms popping up um, when we talk about the course structure and, and, and how we're going to deal with it. But before we do, we're going to talk about the online environment. This is really where 
are we going to get the resources to be able to complete this particular module? Well, for starters, we have an online website and the address of the website is popping up here on the bottom. I'm going to jump into this website in a second and we're going to have a look at, uh, at what's involved there. But my website is patrickhorn.wixsite.com forward slash forward slash web dev. Um, and everything is going to be accessible from there. You're also going to see that we've got things like uh, a YouTube channel set up, we've got Dropbox set up and so on. But all of the videos, all the tutorials, everything you're going to need to get you from beginning right to the very end of this module are, are available on this particular website. Um, so I'm just going to jump into the website here. Now, as you can see here, the website um, has a number of it, um, items up here on top. Okay, a number of sections you can see tutorials, downloads, help, and contact. And if I just hover over tutorials for a second, you can see that it's broken up into a number uh, to six units. So we'll talk about what these units are in a second and what's involved in each one of them. Um, so the module overview, um, what's involved here, and you'll see this diagram here popping up continuously throughout the course. And we're gonna start off today on that. We'll have a look at that, but you'll also see that there's other links to YouTube, to Dropbox, to Brightspace, um, there's a Q&A and so on. So if you want to look here, we can see that there are a number of units involved in the actual um, module. And each unit is broken up into a number of uh, particular topics. Some of them as little as two and, and some of them as many as, you know, you can see here, there's a grand total of about 25 in one of them, okay? Um, but you can see the units and, and each of these units really coincides with, with analysis, planning, design and so on. So we can see this in a few minutes as well when we go into it. So um, as well as that, all the links that we're going to need throughout the course, the site itself, Dropbox, we're going to use Zoom um, and there, those links are going to be dynamically generated and I'll give them out to class whenever we need them, okay? Uh, YouTube and Brightspace, okay? So I'm not going to go through the entire website here, but you can see the idea. If I go into Unit 1, it'll show me what's involved in Unit 1. And I'll um, once you go into Unit 1 here, you can see that there are two units or two, sorry, two topics involved in Unit 1, which is Course Introduction, which I'm dealing with right now and then the web development uh, assessment, which I'll be dealing with in the next tutorial. Um, and you can see here, each one of these units will have a video. They will have, some will have PowerPoints, well, nearly all of them will have PowerPoints. Some of them will have downloadable examples and so on as well. So, so you can see that each section or each um, tutorial will have its own section. It'll tell you what the tutorial's about. It'll tell you, um, where you can access the resources you need to be able to complete that particular part of the tutorial. And of course, you can watch it as often as you want. And the same goes right through to unit all the way through. And if I look at unit five here, you can see that um, unit five actually has, you know, two as well, or so there's only one in unit five. So if I go to unit four, actually is the one I actually want to click on here. You can see that there's a huge number of um, topics within this particular unit. So it's taken a second to load because it's a, it's quite a, it's quite a large unit. But as you can see under design, you can see here, there's tutorials about different parts of the actual site. So it's all about building the actual website and the different components that you need to deal with and so on. But there's lots and lots of right through from links and images, right through to backgrounds. And all of these will become, uh, very apparent as we, as we go through the course. Okay. Um, very, very important part of it is the help section here. If I go into help for a second here, you can see that um, there's a chat function appearing here on the bottom here, okay? And that means it's an online chat. We can have that anytime you want to. You can send forms to me, just fill out any information that you might need. But as well as that, you've also got other resources. You've got frequently asked questions and you'll have virtual Q and A's. So what we envisage to happen throughout the course is virtual Q and A's where um, from time to time, it may not be every week, we'll decide on that as, as soon as we start the course and kind of we get used to one another. Um, but what we'll do is we'll have online Q&As using something like Zoom 
and uh, I'll record those as well. So if anybody can't actually access it at that particular time, they can access them after. Um, where you can ask questions about anything and I will, uh, you know, go through examples and deal with uh, exercises and so on that I'll give you as well. So that's the actual, um, the, um, the website. So we'll just jump back to the PowerPoint here a second. And we'll move on. Okay. So as well as the website, we also have um, a, we have Dropbox. Okay. Now Dropbox is, is a place where I'm going to save every single one of the resources that we use. They'll also be available on the website, but it's a nice, simple place where everybody can access everything. Um, and there'll be all the files that will bring us through the course. There'll be previous examples of other assignments. There'll be the assignments themselves, obviously. There'll be all the PowerPoints, all the tutorials, uh, all the examples that we'll be doing in class um, or we would be doing in class that we'll be doing online and so on. OK, so there's there's going to be an awful lot there. I'll have a quick look at this for a second here. Um, and in the, at the moment here, I'm just waiting for this to load up. You can see, again, you're going to get used to this as well. Unit one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay, you'll see at the moment you've got your the actual course itself, the 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 overview of the course. You'll see the assignments there. You'll also see access to different pieces of software that I'll upload, steps to different things, examples, tutorials, etc. All of those will be dropped into a nice, neat little place uh, in Dropbox and. Uh, Again, this can be accessible from the website and you can see up on top, there's a link from, from to, to Dropbox on the website. There's a link to the YouTube channel on the website as well. And there's a link to Brightspace on the website as well. Um, so just go back to the PowerPoint again. And our next online resource is YouTube. And what I'm going to do is every single tutorial, every single Q&A for, um, this particular module will all be saved in the, in the one web development YouTube channel. And again, the link is down here. It's a tiny URL link at the bottom, which is um, tinyurl.com forward slash web to dot dash UD. All of these links I'll send you on day one so we can all get started and we'll see exactly where we need to go and, from, and, and what we need to do when we get there. OK, Zoom, as I mentioned, we're going to have some online uh, Q&A's and these um, Links to these will be dynamically um, generated. What I might do, what I did this term was um, I generated a link at the very beginning of the module and we used it. Every, it was open every week at the same time. So it was like a, an open door policy at a particular time where I was there. And if anybody in the class wanted to come in and ask questions uh, or, you know, if there was anything that, you know, burning topic that you needed me to look at, we'll do that. So we'll do the same again this year. And finally, we've got Brightspace. Now, with regards to Brightspace, really what I'm using Brightspace for is just a way of linking to all the other resources. So when you go into Brightspace, you'll see an overview. And in that overview for this particular module, it will show you um, links to all of the other resources, to the website, to the Dropbox folder, to YouTube, uh, the Zoom link will be there and obviously Brightspace as well. So all those links will be there. So rather than me placing, you know, information up there and information everywhere, I'm going to place it in, in, in mainly Dropbox on the website and I'm going to create links from Brightspace, etc. to it. Okay. So that's our online environment, environment as, as we're going to be dealing with. So as, you know, as of day one, you'll get a, a, a group of links exactly like this, which will show you exactly where all of our resources are going to be held and updated and so on. OK, so it's going to be very straightforward and, and a very hopefully use, user friendly way of dealing with uh, what we need to. Now, obviously, uh, contacting me is very important. So how do we do it? Well, as I mentioned already, there are email addresses. Uh, there's an email address on the website. The email, my email address is patrick.horn at tudublin.ie. Um, on top of that, um, there's a chat function on the website, which will which is live, and anyone who wants to can get in there and have a chat with one another or with me. Uh, there's a fo contact form on the website, which is another just way of, of 
you know, contacting me, you know, um, as you can say, it's it's quite similar to, to email, but it'll work in that way. Um, there's also the virtual Q&A. So this is going to be very a very important factor because then I'll be able to see exactly where you're at, know exactly what you need. So if you don't tell me, it's very hard for me to know. So very, very important. Um, with regards to telephone, my telephone number and work obviously more than likely won't be available until January 2021. So, um, you know, no point in really using that, okay? And then finally, I'm going to have a, a frequently asked question section on the website as well. So anytime that I'm asked uh, 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 questions, if I think they're useful to everybody in the class, I'll put them up in the, in the, in the FAQ section on the website. Um, so right now we're gonna have a look at the general process of, of, of this module, the way it's gonna flow, the, what's involved in it, the web development process. So. Regardless of whether we're building a very small website or, or, or an elaborate website, these are the stages involved in building any website. So I'm going to go through these, you know, just very briefly right now. And you'll see that these will pop up um, throughout the course because this is the structure of our course. This is the way we're going to, to, to go through the whole process. The first thing we're going to have to come up with is an idea. OK, and the idea is what idea, what website do you want to build? What do you want to build it for? What are you trying to do? OK, so again, we'll spend a little bit of time in, 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 in tutorials dealing with your idea and your analysis phase and so on. So your idea is what do you want to do? OK, uh, what's your main aim? Things like that. OK, so then we look at the analysis stage. The analysis stage is setting the scene. It looks at your aims, objectives. It looks at the audience in which you're trying to reach. It looks at where you're going to get your, um, you know, where you're going to get your resources in order to build a website. It also looks at the time, the cost. We're going to have a look at a project management time cost analysis in there to try and figure that out. So once you've figured out what your analysis, once you've gone through the analysis phase, and we'll be going through this in the, in the first, um, well, in our second unit as we go through here, but. Once you look at that, you'll have a fair idea of what you're trying to do, who it's for, um, and what's involved in, in, in building this particular website. The next stage is planning. Now, while the analysis stage sets the scene, the planning stage is far more specific. So once you finish the analysis stage, you still don't really know uh, how many pages you're going to have, what kind of design it's going to follow, what kind of color scheme you're going to use, you know, what kind of media you're going to employ. You haven't really got into it in that detail. But in this stage, what we're going to look at in planning is we're going to look at where you're going to publish your information. You're going to talk about how you're going to promote the information. You look at things like storyboards and flow charts. So you, at the end of your planning stage, you'll know not only what you want to do, but you'll know exactly how you're going to do it with regards to how many pages you're going to have, what's going to be on these pages, how they're going to be laid out, how the navigational structure is going to be used and so on and so forth. So there's a lot involved in that. Then we'll move on to the main stage of the course, which we'll spend a lot of a lot of our time dealing with is the design phase, which means literally how do we do what we said we're going to do in the analysis and planning. That's really it. So if we look at the idea, the analysis and planning, that's going to be what we're going to look at in assessment one. And then the design phase and the publication phase is, 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 is assignment two. OK, so the design phase is we're going to spend a lot of time looking at how you build a website. Publication is very straightforward, it's simply taking your website from your hard disk or your USB or wherever you have it stored and placing it up online so everybody has access to it. Promotion is everything from Google right through to all your social media and how you can actually build a, build a promotional campaign around your, uh, around your website. And then finally, innovation. Um, so innovation is looking at what's new out there and keeping your finger on the pulse really. Um, now, when I say finally, it's not really the last stage, because if you look at the diagram, there is an arrow going all the way around the outside, but it keeps it's a continuous arrow. It keeps going around and around and around. So once you create your website, it's not just a once off creation. It's something that's going to go on indefinitely. OK, so so you'll go back and you'll do analysis, but it'll be different the next time around because you'll have a website and you'll know what audience you're looking for. But you'll be able to see whether you're reaching your audience, your planning will change, your design will change and so on. But it's an iterative process that will go round and round and round. OK, so these are the stages or these are the units involved in, in creating this particular module and putting this together. So, 
you know, um, we'll talk lots more about these as we go through the course.